It's very spooky, isn't it? Very quiet, electric fan. What a wonderful development going forward because the weight of batteries has held it back for so many years of development. Now this is purposely designed, the whole thing. First purpose-built, fully electric general aviation training aircraft. It's great for green, it emits no carbon dioxide. You've heard, or didn't, how incredibly quiet it is. Two electric motors, combined power of 60 kilowatts. Probably less than my washing machine. Each driving a ducted variable pitch fan. That electric power comes from a series of 250 volt lithium ion polymer batteries housed in the inboard part of the wings, giving an endurance of around about 45 minutes to an hour. Good visibility out of that cockpit. Great lift from the wings. Two-seat aircraft has a all-composite airframe structure, optimized electrical energy management, yeah, E-FADEC. The electric motors for the wheels, six kilowatts on the main landing gear for silent taxiing and acceleration up to 60 kilometers an hour during the takeoff. So assisted there from left to right. Where it Gosh, two years, ten years time when we see this sort of development move on to. Aircraft Airbus Group plans to further develop the EFAN technology demonstrator and produce and market two versions of the aircraft. A subsidiary named Voltaire, good name. Two-seat version EFAN 2 will be fully electronic training aircraft by, uh, by only batteries. The four-seat version will be the EFAN 4, will be a training and general aviation aircraft but we'll also have a combustion engine within the fuselage to provide additional extended range or endurance. First flight, only this year, March this year, down at Bordeaux. EFAN project supported by the French state, the French director of general of the Civil Aviation Authority over there. Empty weight, 500 kilos. Cruising speed 160 kilometers per hour, max speed 220 kilometers per hour. Remember the little creek crease, the two engine aerobatic aircraft? Well, this is really the growth from that, the development from it, from much loved creek I don't know whether any creek are still flying around. I'd love to kind of go in one of those. project, the EFAN project, part of the much larger research program that Airbus, the company, is undertaking on a hybrid and electrical propulsion systems. Some of the other aircraft in the program include a concept study for the full-scale hybrid helicopter. So what are we going to see in, as I say, two, four or ten years' time? This is the development that we're unveiling for the very first time here at Farnborough. I mentioned the endurance, around about 45 minutes, an hour, maybe an hour and 15 if you're lucky with reserve. Um, but how long would it take to charge the batteries? I hear you ask. Well, maybe I didn't hear you, but I'm making it up. They can be recharged in just one hour. And the future aircraft will have a quick charge battery pack system for rapid turnarounds. 24 volt avionics radios powered by a converter. Also, there's an emergency battery backup installed, I'm glad to hear that.
It's the same sort of speeds really as a, a Cessna 150, 152, that sort of thing. I mean the takeoff speed, I've talked about kilometres an hour, but we've just done a quick conversion here on fingers, 60 knots to get airborne, cruise around about 86 knots.